What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Demon Slayer game. I'm not going to mess with its insanely, insanely long title. We're just not going to do that here. Um, but no, uh, this flew completely, in my opinion, or for me, I guess, under the radar. This came out on Thursday, this news, and it was a, a brand new trailer for the game, as well as its release date coming out October 15th. So it's got the release date. It got some extra details, but, but more or less, I just kind of want to talk about the trailer and my general excitement for it. I, I don't know how I missed this. For context, I uh, I do not watch anime. I've said that before. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! If you consider that anime. Honestly, I don't know the formal definition. Dragon Ball Z I like. I respect Naruto, but I'm not a big fan. And uh, that's pretty much as far... I, I don't know. There's like maybe a couple of Pokemon. Is that anime? I don't honestly know. I don't honestly know. But Demon Slayer is one that I have jumped into. I went to see the movie. I actually saw it in theaters. Uh, and I saw the first season on Netflix. So, you know, I'm not like the, the biggest diehard hard fan that you known to man right I haven't read any of the actual like I know obviously it's completely finished if you if you read it so uh, I don't know that so I'm kind of going into the series uh, in the future completely blind but the game looks really really good and part of the reasons why I said I, I respect Naruto one of the reasons is even the games the games are insanely I have actually played them my sister loves Naruto so she would buy them and I would play them with her they are extremely extremely good games and this is obviously being made from the same studio as Naruto, as the Shippuden games, and, and they've done actually a couple other things besides that, and they always, I think, do a really good job. I mean, I, well, to be honest, so again, I, I I went into this game, or I have gone into this game completely uh, blind. I knew this game existed. I knew this game was coming this year. I saw, like, screenshots of it, but I don't think I've ever seen... I think there has been more than just this recent trailer. This was the story trailer that came out. I don't know if there's been anything else, or again, I haven't seen it. I didn't know this was going to be almost a one-to-one -one version of the show. So, like, again, like, for me, like, watching season one, that's pretty much what this game is. Is that disappointing? Well, I mean, the retelling of the, sh of the show, and, and maybe I shouldn't be surprised because I'm pretty sure the Naruto games did the same thing. Took, like, a section of where, you know, the show was at the time and just, like, retold that in the game. There's nothing wrong with that. I, 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 I'm very excited to replay, basically, the show just in a game form. I think that's awesome. And then that really, in terms of uh, the disappointments or the negative things I can find on it, that's pretty much as, as far as it goes. You know what I mean? It's just, okay, obviously it's not going to go into territory we haven't seen yet. So maybe that's a little disappointing, but the game looks phenomenal. Again, I mean, it looks, it's everything that I loved about the Naruto games in terms of their fighting style and just the way the game works, just poured it over basically for Demon Slayer. And it looks visually amazing. I mean, the cutscenes look insane. The character models look absolutely incredible. The fighting itself, like when, when he, oh, just really any of the sword fighting that you're seeing, whether it's against the demons or whether it's actually sword to sword combat, it all looks so good, right? The main character, when he's doing like his flips and you see like the water wheel kind of, kind of playing out in front of you, it looks absolutely beautiful. So there's not, you know, too much more to say other than that. October 15th, maybe the only other disappointing thing about it is that it is coming out in an absolutely packed month. October seems like, and you know, I think it can only get more packed, but it seems like it's going to be the month that's the most packed in the fall. You always have it. October and November are, are normally jam-packed with games. You already in October have Far Cry, Far Cry 6, you have Back for Blood, you have Battlefield 2042, you have Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's four, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing one or two other big games. So it is an absolutely, oh, House of Ashes is one of them. It's an absolutely packed month that I think is just going to get more packed. November will be relatively packed, but it seems like October is that big month, and this comes out literally in the middle of it. It comes out after Far Cry and Back for Blood, but right before uh, Battlefield and Guardians of the Galaxy, and again, House of Ashes and a couple other games are in there. So it's definitely a crowded area that sucks at the same time. Like I always say for things like this, you know, I think if you're a fan and this is your kind of game, those games I mentioned aren't really going to get in the way. You know what I mean? If you're super into Demon Slayer or you're super into anime or you're super into these kind of fighting games, right, even like the, the Dragon Ball Z ones or anything like this, I don't think Far Cry is, or Battlefield is going to pull you away from something like this. You know what I mean? I think, honestly, it impacts people like me more where it's like I want a little bit of everything. So I'm, I'm honestly, all the games I listed I want to get in October. And then there's this game. It's like, shoot, like that's, a, that's, a, that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars being spent 
in October. So my wallet will definitely feel it. That's okay, though, but I'm very excited for this game. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Do you like the release date? Do you like what you've seen of this game so far? Let me know. As always, make sure if you guys haven't already, you're subscribed, bell icon turn on, leave a like. Definitely helps this video out. You guys have been doing such an amazing job supporting these videos over the last couple months, and I really, really want to thank you. So thank you so much. I hope to see you all on tomorrow's video.